So the comprehensive measurements for research, they are typically for understanding processes. So they aim at, at answering questions, questions such as how, uh, how is air quality and growth of trees connected? They can be done in situ, so meaning on site. So for instance, in a forest or inside a city, or then they can be based on remote sensing, for instance, satellite observations that are discussed in another lecture. The measurements can be continuous, lasting from years to tens of years, or they can be campaigns lasting from days to weeks to months. Typically, research measurements require development of instruments and or observation methods. Let's take one example of the SMER2 station. That's a rural background site that where measurements were started in 1996. It's located in Hytiela, southern Finland. The SMER2 site uh, has measurements that are done in a forest, lake and a peatland location, which are very close to each other, within a few kilometers. The measurements are very comprehensive and aim at observing exchange of carbon dioxide, methane, uh, reactive gases such as ozone, as well as heat uh, between the different surfaces and atmosphere. The SMER2 stands for Station for Measuring Ecosystem Surface Atmosphere Relations, and it's a continuous comprehensive observation site. It's a so-called flagship site uh, that con combines many different aims. Over 1,200 different variables are measured at the site. The measurements at the Hytiela site are done at different heights. So some of the lowest go below ground level uh, and some of the highest are within the canopy and even above the canopy. SMER2 flagship station in Hytiela provides a lot of open online data. Comprehensive long-term observations aim at understanding processes, feedbacks and interactions between the different ecosystems and atmosphere. Up to 100 people are involved in the research that is carried out at the station. And we publish about 50 peer-reviewed research papers annually. Smer2 site is surrounded by boreal forest and there are very little human uh, activities surrounding it. Much of the research is involved in climate change and their foundings include things such as uh, aerosol formation processes and how the forests influence forming of new aerosol particles. SMER2 has the longest time series of aerosol particles in the world. And it's very unique in the way that it combines different uh, fields of science. So that there's forest sciences, uh, aerosol physics, and different, different disciplines involved. 